What is up, everybody? This is Aaron with Recavic here. Today, uh, there is no words. Uh, this video is going to be titled something like Massive or Enormous Haul, only because of the size of the items. I tried to do this um, kind of like the plush haul, where I kind of make it all about one type of thing or a subject. So what I might start doing is I might start taking like items, like either board games or collectibles, you know, stuffed animals, action figures, you name it, vintage things. This haul is going to be an enormous haul. Um, it's going to be a lot of bigger items. So please take this uh, journey with me in this video. Threw out some crazy, some weird items. I bought a McDonald's for $20. That's right. It's really cool. Um, I cannot wait to show it to everybody. Um, I thank you guys for tuning in, and this video is going to be amazing. Um, as you can see behind me, there is a mess. I don't even know what I'm going to do because all these items are so big that I literally have to get up and take stuff and just walk it away. Um, so what I'm going to do is either shove it under the table or throw it off to the side, but we're going to get into some really, really big items, some cool items. Um, the thumbnail doesn't do this video justice. It looks like some regular storage bins and some weird appliances and stuff like that, but it's really cool. Trust me, you want to watch this video. Uh, it's probably one of the cooler videos I've done. This is some of the weirder, more expensive stuff um, that I have hardly any money into. So we're going to get into some really cool items. I'm going to start taking some stuff from the bed behind me. We've got some stuff over here. we got stuff on the floor. This might be a longer video, but it's, I'm really thrilled to, to show, you, show everybody out there this video. Um, again, thank you guys for tuning in. Please subscribe down below. I'm, really, I'm new at this. I'm really trying to get this channel off the ground. Um, I want to spread a positive uh, vibe and just the, for the picking community, the people, the resellers out there, the nostalgic retro collectors, uh, anything like that. Uh, if you guys could please help me out and subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, hit that notification bell, ring it for me. Uh, leave me some comments and feedback. You know, let me know if I can improve in anything. Um, I like to be real with my videos. I do not know how to edit and I'm also using an iPhone. Um, so what I do is I like to take one shot. Everything you're going to see here is literally from start to finish. Is me talking and no cuts, no edits, nothing taking out, nothing added. It's just one straight shot. Uh, I don't know how to edit. It's not that I guess I'm a little bit ignorant in that sense. I just I haven't learned because I don't I don't know because I haven't taught myself. So we're gonna get into some really cool items. Um, some things might be boring. Other things are gonna be really cool. Uh, there's a lot of Lego stuff here. I got Barbie stuff, McDonald's stuff. I got just you name it. I got it. So we're gonna get a couple items here. Um, this was actually a recent acquisition of mine. If anybody knows what this is, kudos to you because I haven't seen one of these in a long time. This is a Geo Safari. Um, I don't remember what this year is from. It's like 1989 or 1990 something. It's a Geo Safari and it actually works. Um, it's one of those teaching training devices. You get these cards and you slide it in there um, and then it asks you questions and then you like you can select the answers and stuff. It's a really cool teaching device. Um, it's like a before a computer. It's really neat. It's like a leap pad for like the late 80s, early 90s. It's amazing. 1992 and this is a brand new, three brand new packs of cards right here. Um, I got this for $10 at, a, at a, uh, an indoor consignment event. I think it was a, a benefit for a church. I got this for ten dollars. These are going for seventy-five bucks plus shipping. Insane. I think I used. I don't know if I used to have one as a kid. I remember seeing them on TV. I think it was one of those things you ordered online. I love this thing. It's so cool. I'm glad it works. It comes with batteries. I was able to flick the switch and test it before I bought it. Um, this was a huge score there. Seven and a half to eight times my money back on this item. It's awesome. Uh, people are buying these now. These are really great learning tools and especially really great displays because you stick it on a shelf like that. You can put whatever you want on here and show people. So that was an amazing item. I love that. Uh, another recent purchase of mine. Um, this was actually really, really sick. Uh, I love this. This is a Holmes. Um, see if I have my... Bear with me now. Uh, I have an extension cord here. I want to show everybody what this does. This is an air purifier. Um, but this lights up. If you can see that, it's a Holmes. What is it? Is it Holmes? No, it's a Carillion Clinic Bissell My Air. <laughs> I just dropped it. It's so top heavy. This is insane. It's so quiet. It's an air purifier. It's a touch panel LCD. Um, it lights up. It's a nightlight and an ear purifier and a noisemaker and it's a healthcare product. It's so cool. I got this for $3.99 from a freaking Goodwill and it works. You know how they have like that little policy where you have like seven days to return electrical devices. I did not test this in the store. I brought it home knowing that if I brought my receipt back, I could easily return it. Um, no need to. Didn't have to. I brought it home. My mom actually wants it, so I'm probably going to give it to her. I just told her I like to do videos and stuff before I give it away. Um, but this one might be good for my brother's room. He's 15 years old and he has uh, 
think he has like a dry nose or whatever. So this would be great. Uh, really awesome item. I love it. The freaking LEDs in the bottom are amazing. It's a brand new item. I think they're going for $75 online, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it was $25. It's been a while since I looked that up. It's probably been a couple weeks, uh, maybe like a week and a half. So I don't know on that item if it's like $25 or it's like $65 or $70 thought it was amazing um, we're gonna get into this really thing this thing is massive um, I have a really kind of sad story to talk about this one um, it's just the fact that, of humanity and how people are mean to one another or use people to their own benefits um, I saw this in a Goodwill um, and there was a handicapped gentleman working there uh, glasses tall guy really really friendly but he was wearing the arm crutches and he was pushing a carriage. He would like push the carriage and he'd walk on his crutches and he'd push his carriage. And I asked him if he wanted any help and he said, no, I'm okay, thank you. These two older gentlemen stood next to the carriage and rushed him and said, oh, can I help you take that out of the carriage? Can I have that? Can I help whatever? And this guy, like, they were offering for help but they were like taking things out of his carriage and like walking away with them. They would take the one item that they wanted out of the carriage and they walked away with it. And I said, you offered to help the guy. You took one item out that you wanted and walked away. And I genuinely asked him if he wanted help because there was a lot of heavy items in here like this. And I didn't want him to put his crutches down or take his weight off of the carriage and grab something like this big and hurt himself. Um, and, and I waited till this was on the shelf. I waited till he had told me, no, he doesn't want help. I waited till everything was out and I grabbed this. I didn't push anybody out of the way. I didn't offer for help. So it was really kind of sad to see that people were like that, that they just wanted to offer help just because they wanted a cool item. Um, there was a pretty neat like um, Hamilton Beach uh, mixer, like a, st a mixer for the counter, which is probably expensive, but I wasn't in a rush to get that. The law and the policy is at Goodwill is they cannot let you dig into the carriage. You have to wait until the item is physically in the person's hand, the worker's hand, and put on the shelf because people will literally hound these people at the carriage if they see cool items. Back to the item. Um, they put this on the shelf, and I actually thought this was amazing. It is a cordless Jimmy Buffett margarita maker. Ice goes in here. This is really cool. This lifts up. Um, it's a glass pitcher. It is an 18 volt. Uh, I think the battery's dead. There we go. The battery's dead. It needs to be charged. But um, it's a cordless. So literally, you can plug this in on your boat or plug this in at your house and pop this battery pack out and take this margarita mixer anywhere, tailgates, barbecues, friends' houses, beach, in the, well, not in the car, don't do that, I'm sorry. You can carry it with you in the car and bring it to where you wanna go, neighbor's house, whatever. Uh, insane, really cool, it's dirty. Uh, I have to clean it, but I'm, I looked these up online. I got this for $9.99 and it worked when I brought it home. I got this thing for $10, it's going for $180 used, and now that it's springtime, I'm gonna be summer soon, Memorial Day, uh, parades, 4th of July, you name it, this thing is gonna be a huge hit. Um, I'm gonna run out of space here, so please don't mind me. Um, so yeah, that is awesome, I've been waiting a long time to do a video like that, but like I said, this video is like either expensive items, like big ticket items, uh, huge heavy items, awkward items, this stuff that's been taking up space that I've been waiting to do a video on. Um, a couple of more recent acquisitions I have here are simple little storage devices, right? No, they're not. Uh, this is really cool. Um, I didn't know what this was until I looked deeper into it. Most people probably pass this up because it looks just like a regular storage thing. You can tell by the colors. I mean, what, what other colors? I mean, this, these are Lego colors. These are what Lego, I have enough Lego cases I know. Um, it's taped, but these are Lego. If you look right here, I think, where did I see it? I saw the word Lego somewhere and I picked it up. It says Lego in such small lettering. Um, and I looked it up online. It says Lego storage rack right on the top of it. But I don't think people looked. Uh, there's a Lego. Oh, right here. It's so small. All right. You know what? Screw these shelves. Right there. Take that out. The little tiny Lego symbol right there. This little storage rack, I think it's missing. There's little green plates of, um, what are they called? Pips. That go on here and you can like put a like a, you can write down what it is or you can kind of put like build a little symbol on here to kind of tell you what what's in the drawer i might actually buy a couple of those little uh, pla uh tabs and put them in here this was seven dollars and fifty cents at one of those um discounted consignment events so if you wait till the third or fourth day you can get stuff between 40 and 75 percent off this i think i got this for was it half off or 75 percent this is 75 percent off i had gotten this item for a dollar and 75 cents 
These are going for 40, 40 to hundred dollars. Some weird, ridiculous range like this because it's an older Lego, like 1990s or 80s Lego shelf. This, these are going for something ridiculous. So if I can complete that by getting the little, the little things right there on the go in the front, this will be a huge ticket item. And I'm so happy I picked that up. I love Lego. I still have all of my Lego from when I was a kid, all the eighties and early nineties Lego, uh, minifigures and sets. I still have all the instruction booklets. Everything's in a huge bin over there in the back. So I love these items. This next item as well. I don't know why anybody didn't pick it up. Um, there was a price tag on it. I think they were asking $10 for it. I think I got it for $2 and 50 cents. It is a Lego carrying case, but so the la there's a little buckle that latches on here, um, but it's, it's missing. It's not broken off. It's missing. Um, it's got a locking drawer on it, little locking drawer on it. It's got a freaking pip handle and then it opens up like a jewelry box and it's got storage compartments in there. It's so cool. I think I got this for $2 and 50 cents. These are also, sorry, this one's going for $43. That, that right here, I'm sorry, this is the one that was going for like something ridiculous, like 120 bucks for this one. I'm sorry, this one was the $40 one. That's the 100 and something dollar one. Um, so amazing, amazing scores. Lego is so popular. And now while, the, while, while we're on the subject of Lego, uh, I have one more item, actually two more Lego related items, but one actually Lego branded item was this Lego project table. Check this thing out. I actually overpaid for this. I paid $30 for this thing. But even if I don't sell it, I don't care. I love this. Look at this. It's You carry stuff. It's from 1994. Check this out. It's a Lego project table. You can wear it on your lap. You can build in your bed. You can put these things together and build on this. And you could store the uh, Legos in here. It's so cool. Lego, I'm sorry. It's so neat. You put this together like a little battlefield, or like a display area. These come off. You could take these off if you wanted to and put them down. Um, and you know what? If you keep Lego in here and close these up, and then you could fold the legs up and you can carry it with you. It's so freaking neat. It's from 1994. It's 27 years old. And I was hoping to sell this for maybe $100 because I think that's what they're going for. But if they don't, I don't care. This would be a perfect display piece for the background. I love this thing. I've never seen one before. I never had one as a kid. And I, honestly, if I had one as a kid, I wish I, I, wish I had one. Um, so neat, so unique, so different. What We don't see stuff like this anymore. It's a massive Lego thing. It's not even a Lego. It's just a bin. It's so cool. Um, so sorry for getting off on a tangent. I'm just really excited about all these items. I hope you guys can see my enthusiasm in every video. I have a mass, I have a huge passion for this stuff. I love all this unique, nostalgic stuff. Um, anytime I see something different or cool, I tend to pick it up. I really do like it because there's somebody out there that's going to be as enthusiastic about it as me or more. And they will enjoy it more than I will. And I like to find, I like to be a um, temporary caretaker for items. I get to enjoy it. I get to look at it. I get to photograph it, talk about it. I get to pack it up and, you know, put it all nice in a box or whatever. And I, I get to spend time with it. Whether it's keeping something for a little while or keeping something for a long time, eventually I'll sell it and somebody else will appreciate it more than me. And I'm just, we're all caretakers of items in this world. Nothing truly belongs to us, but we can own it for, you know, as long as we want. But we still are caretakers of items. You know, nothing is yours forever. So um, not to be morbid, just in a sense of repurposing items to where they belong and putting them in the proper households and the proper people. And, you know, having somebody have an affinity or connection to an item from their youth. Um, so if I enjoy that and I never owned one and I love that thing to death, there's somebody out there that had that as a kid that wants the item back. And that would be so cool to display in your room and put like a, a scene or a castle on top of it or a build on top of it, you know, or have like one of your young kids use it as a bench to sit on or a stool or just, it's just really neat, you know? So, um, back to these items, I'm going to do this one next. I thought this was neat. Um, I looked at on the bottom of this and it said Disney and I was like, is that a Tinkerbell flower? This is a Tinkerbell flower. Uh, CD player, uh, I think it's a CD player and a radio. It's a CD player and yeah, you can actually play iPod music out of this. There's actually an auxiliary one. You can actually plug in a wire and put your phone jack in here and actually play music from a device uh, through here. So that's freaking awesome. This is a Tinkerbell Disney flower and I got this for $4.99. This is a $35 to $60 item. Um, it's a little, not beat up. There's some scratches on it. I did try it. I actually had a Macarena CD laying around <laughs> um funny story i bought that for my aunt uh first cd i tried in this was a macarena cd and it's a very inappropriate song if anybody gets the chance to look at the lyrics it's not it's gonna ruin your childhood um there's a tiktok about that so really cool item love that's got a handle on it carry it wherever you want 
Uh, really pretty for a girl's room and a Disney collector, Tinkerbell lover. Anything like that, Peter Pan, awesome. Uh, I'm messing up my tablecloth here. Sorry about that. It's hanging down and it's cutting my knees. All right, another item that I thought was amazing was this Mickey Mouse popcorn maker. Yes, this is a Mickey Mouse and check this out. It actually says kernels and Disney script on it. It's so cool. You put the popcorn kernels in here. Um, so neat. There's actually Mickey Mouse ears with a heating element on the bottom. He's got the little, his button for his pants is the on off switch. It says Disney, he's got his feet. And then look at this. When you you put the, the popcorn kernels, you take this, you put this on the bottom, you secure this on the bottom and this becomes your popcorn bucket. Isn't that sick? That's so cool, right? So uh, I thought that was an amazing find. I don't remember how much, I think I got this for like $2.99. Is there a sticker on here somewhere? I think I took the sticker off. I think it's like three bucks at a freaking Goodwill. I was I was loving that. I don't know how much it's worth. I just picked it up because it was cool and it was different and Mickey Mouse is awesome and I love Disney. So um, another item I just got recently, don't know if it works yet. Um, I have to try it out. It is a Barbie 2004 tape recorder, tape player, and I think radio and maybe karaoke machine. Um, it's really neat. It's from 2004, so this is 17 years old. Um, this is, you know, it uses an AC adapter or batteries. I have not tested this out yet, but I thought it was neat. Um, there is a CD in there, I think. Yeah, there's a Barbie CD actually in there. It says 2004 Mattel on it. So I think it could be a sing-along or maybe like a tape recorder thing for Barbie stuff. So I um, thought that was cool. Again, I appreciate everybody watching this video. Um, some of the past comments, you know who you are. My last video or my last two videos, my, my plush haul. Um, that wasn't just one big haul. That was a, like a bunch of different trips that just kind of, I just kept stockpiling uh, plushes and stuffed animals and plushies. Uh, but thank you so much for your feedback and your amazing comments and your subscriptions. I really appreciate everybody. Um, this is, I do this for fun. This is like 12 o'clock at night in the garage um, and just going through my stuff and talking to all of you out there. And I really do enjoy this. I love going out and finding crazy deals wherever they may be and um, bringing them back here, sharing them. And I get to keep them or sell them or repurpose them, regift them, whatever. And I just, I love it. Um, I found this next item right here. This is a $2 pickup from Goodwill. This is a brand new sealed Wii Fit Plus game from 2009 or 8. It's a brand new sealed game, but I'm going to actually sell it with this. This was cool. This is a Wii Sports Edition Wii console in the box. Um, it comes with the console, the stand. I don't really, well, I'll take it out. I don't want to take it out. I don't have time for that. Um, it doesn't have the Wii Sports game, but it is the console. I got this for $30 in an original Wii box. Um, it says game included. I will find a Wii Sports game and include it with this. I think it's one nunchuck, one controller, the stand, the sensor bar, the AV cables, the power adapter, the console itself. And it was supposed to come, it's got the instruction booklet. It's got, it's basically a brand new console in here. I checked it out. It's amazing. Um, I got this for $30 on, on uh, offer up, a uh, local offer up pickup. They were asking 35 and they lowered it down. It was on there for four months and it was like way at the bottom of the list. $30 for like almost brand new in the box Nintendo Wii. So pretty awesome there. Uh, and I figured I would pair it with a game like this and maybe the fit board and make it like a really good fitness uh, Wii bundle. What else we got? This stuff is going to be after. I don't even know if I'm going to I'm gonna get to all this stuff, but there's a whole pile full of stuff back there. Anybody know who this guy is? Anybody remember Heathcliff? Guess what? He's from 1996 and he's brand new with the tags from Nanco. Nanco, N-A-N-C-O. It's, a, it's a, like a plush company. Uh, amazing item here. He's got like bendable legs. He's a huge figure. He's got to be at least 20 inches tall, maybe almost two feet. Massive figure. He's brand new with the tags. 1997, I'm sorry. I got him for $3, maybe $6. I think I paid six bucks for him. He's a $45 plush all day. Uh, absolutely love him. He's adorable and he's super soft. So I'm gonna chuck him over here for now. Hopefully he doesn't fall on the ground. He did. Um, what else we got? We have this crazy, creepy Barbie. This is from, don't judge me. I'm gonna look <coughs> at her date, 1992. This is a Barbie in a nightgown. Really creepy because Sometimes in the garage, I have like a desk lamp over by my Xbox and my television and stuff like that for when I'm gaming out here. And uh, this thing, because it's like dark in here and like you can just see a shadow of a face and like a woman in dre like a white dress just staring at you in the corner of the garage. It's so creepy. But she is massive. She is a three foot tall Barbie. And she's from 1992. The last sold listings of her was like a 90 to 100 bucks. I got her for $10 at a Goodwill. Uh, you don't find this stuff anymore. This is so cool. Really weird, weird item. Has her nightgown on. Her hair is brushed. Um, 
creepy, creepy doll. Um, I don't know what to do with all this stuff. Just get in the box. Get in the box. Oh, whatever. She fell over. So I love that. Um, I don't love it, but I thought it was neat. I thought it was cool. And I think it'll be a really great flip. I mean, there's people. I, I actually walked at the store and that lady's like, I had my mom or I had one of those when I was a kid. So that's what I mean. Like when you pick up an item, someone's like, hey, that's awesome. Or I had that. You know then and there that if I like it enough to buy it, if I research it and and it and it goes out and somebody's willing to pay a hundred dollars for that, there's other people out there, especially when somebody comments on it and says they used to have it. There's a bunch of people that probably had those, They're like those big giant boxes from like Toys R Us back in the day. People love those things and it's a nostalgic piece of their childhood, kind of like Hot Wheels for guys. Speaking of Hot Wheels, check this out: Daytona 500 track in the box was three dollars and 99 cents i pulled this out this is a brand new hot wheel set from 1997 brand new licensed by nascar and daytona it even has the instructions it has uh the track it has look at this all this okay that's not brand new. the cars are out of the box but the stickers are all brand new all the track is unscathed and unscarred um it does come with two cars it has the freaking it has everything in here it's complete um, I don't want to pull it out of the box right now. Maybe we can do a different video, but there is a, a there is a sheet full of stickers and they're all brand new. And I actually have two extra cars to go with this. Um, it's freaking amazing. I got this for four dollars. This is a hundred and twenty to hundred and thirty dollar set. This is a four dollar set that I can flip for hundred and thirty bucks. And I, with the extra two cars, I could probably get a little bit more. Amazing. I love Hot Wheels cars. I this blue is so nostalgic from the old cards on the pegs from the stores. I love this thing. This thing is awesome. I pulled it out of the box. The cars are super cool. I think there's like a portion of BMW in here or something like that. I think I also have a Mercedes and a uh, Mitsubishi as well. Um, so amazing, amazing item. That's a huge score and a great pickup there. It's a very rare item. I love that thing. Um, I actually have a Mercedes 190E Cosworth and I think I also have a BMW like 3 Series or 5 Series to go with that. No, it's an 8 Series, 8, eight Series, 850i, something like that. Awesome, awesome item. I picked that up like four or five months ago, and I've just been waiting to show that to everybody. Uh, just a really big, massive item that's, what, 24 years old, and it's not. It's brand new in an open box, if, if, if that makes sense to anybody. Um, another cool Barbie. Um, this one's creepy. This one's a little bit more modern. I don't know. Don't mind me. I'm not being creepy. This is from Just Play. I think Just Play makes Care Bears. This is from 2013, but she's like, what, two feet, two and a half feet tall? So she's like maybe a half a foot shorter than the other one. And she was actually $3.99. And she's got some sort of weird t-shirt on. That is not a Barbie shirt. Um, but I don't want to show her off naked. This is this was on her in the store. So somebody probably closed her. Um, but she's, uh, she's a hot mess. She's got her hair is a disaster. So moving on. Don't know how much she's worth. Didn't pick it up. I was like, you know what? For three or four hours, they don't sell massive Barbies like that anymore. That's still eight years old. And I haven't seen anything like that. So that's a really cool item. Uh, another re recent acquisition of mine, two weeks ago, I went to a uh, tag sale, saw this item and they're like, oh, you know, everything helps our store and it's a multifamily thing. So there's like five different people there. And I've, I've, I've had a, my share of cars. I think I've had 34 different cars. A lot of them, you know, I souped up and I tuned them and whatever. Uh, and I know what K&N is. They're pretty expensive now, uh, especially for whole intake systems, not just a filter. Well, I got this from a lady who said this came off of her husband's. 20, 2015 Duramax, and this is a K&N system with the, um, I think this is the, uh, there's, a, there's a, another air filter port, and this is the air filter, this is the uh, charge pipe, this is the heat shield, um, these online new are $350, used, I think these are going for $160 to $178, insane, insane, I got this for, they offered $15, I think she called her husband and told me she would take 10 and I got this for $10 at a tag sale. This is a massive, massive freaking charge pipe for a, a Duramax diesel uh, truck. I think this was from a GMC or a Chevy. So a really crazy item here. Um, thought that would be neat to share with everybody. Like I said, if there's anything in the video that you don't like, there's going to be something for everybody. Barbie, I mean, I have an Air Force stuff here. I have a vaporizer for crying out loud. I mean, you name it, I probably have it. Seriously though, like everything has a price to somebody. Whether it's new, whether it's old, I mean, there is stuff that's there is stuff that's garbage out there. I don't just buy everything, but most of the things that I list, I do sell. And whether it takes five months to a year or a week or even a couple hours, I sell everything. 
and I don't lose money on anything, knock on wood. Actually, that's not wood. I don't lose money on anything. I market it very well. Um, I advertise it. And, you know, I make sure that it's a fair, the fair market value, a little bit under what it's going for or at what it's going for. And then I allow people to make offers. Uh, eventually, if it doesn't sell, I'll lower it over time. But I always make sure that I remember what I got an item for and what I sell it for. So if that Barbie never sells, I know I have $10 into it. I will not take less than $10 for it and somebody will buy it. I, I make sure that I don't lose money. I make sure that I make profit on every single item, whether it's a dollar or hundreds of dollars. I make sure I make money. Um, and I also make sure I redo my research when I'm um, near an item to make sure that I'm getting a good deal or that I can sell it for a good profit. I'm not wasting my time. So good tip for everybody out there. Like this table right here, I think I got this for $5.99. This is not licensed by Lego. It's made by a company called Tot Tutors. It is a Lego table though. Check this out. Love this thing. Um, the pips I think can it take Legos and it's actually storable. The legs pop out of it. You can fold this up, slide it under a kid's bed, stick it in a closet. So cool. I don't remember what these are going for. I think this is a $60 table. I picked it up for $5.99. So I thought that was neat. Um, really great item there. Uh, I, it's called Tot Tutors. I don't know. It's a rip off of Lego, I guess. Um, this was neat. This I picked up the other day. This was five bucks. This was a brand new Warmstream factory sealed vaporizer. Um, Vix Vapo Stream Warmstream whatever. This is actually going for twenty five to thirty bucks to thirty five bucks online. So literally weighs over a pound. Maybe I'll charge like seven or eight bucks for shipping on it. I got five into it. I'll make twenty or twenty five bucks on it. Brand new sealed in the box from a Goodwill. Factory sealed, one piece of tape here, one piece of tape here, whatever, that's all it is. It's not opened or anything like that. It's never been used. So really great item there. Look for brand new items that are sealed. They're quick sellers. If anybody searches new, nobody wants to use vaporizer that's been in a baby's room in somebody's sick, sick house. Um, so that was awesome. We're gonna get into the coup de gras over here, the little the gem of the video. I feel like is one of the biggest scores. Not recently, because I make a lot of big scores. But one of the coolest items, um, side note from that, I'm sorry, I just got excited and I don't I don't want to lose people on this because the video is going to be titled I bought on like McDonald's for $20 because literally this thing is so cool. Uh, I'm going to put it up on the table. You guys might not be able to see all of it, um, but pretty much what it is, is a drive through McDonald's. I had to look up what year it was from. Check this thing out. It's a drive through McDonald's. I think there's a button that you push. So this opens up here. Um, and check this out. You're going to lose the top of it. It is a McDonald's. It's a licensed Archer's McDonald's. These are the windows that open. Um, this opens up and it turns into a little cart. Sorry for that. There's supposed to be trays here. There's trays here. This apron alone right here. I looked up this apron. My gosh. This apron right here. I'm going to take the name off of it. Somebody wrote, I'm loving it on there. This apron alone goes for $35. This is a 1989 McDonald's apron for this playset. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I got this little thing. This is a new package of McDonald's things, but there's McFlurries and chicken nuggets in here. So somebody got this. That reminds me actually. Um, I'm going to actually get up in a second, but I want to show everybody this. There's a trash bin here so people can put their trash in here. The trays go here. This is an oven right here. This is supposed to be refrigerated with a condiments rack. There's a microwave. There's, there's actually money in here. Um, the register dings. It's so cool. It's got a handle with wheels on it so you can cut it around. And I think there's a button, yeah, right here. So check this out. So like you're supposed to like pretend like when you're a kid, you're driving up to the window and you're like, how can I help you today? Or like you pay your bill. And there's like a little cash register drawer here with money in it and stuff. It's so freaking cool. Uh, that's the oven. It's so cool. Um, I was carrying this around, just kind of carrying it by the handle like this. I was carrying this around and people were like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's a McDonald's. Why didn't I see that? And I, oh, I was thinking about it. I got this for $20. It's from 1989. It's 32 years old, and they're going for $375 to $400 just for this. Oh, my gosh. So uh, another, uh, another uh, reason why, just always keep your eye out. The whole consignment event was mainly, it's like kid stuff, baby stuff, toys. Um, and I, like everything was like bright purple and bright neon green and blue, and everything looked new and shiny. And these dull colors, these 1980s colors, these off brown and off reds, and this is old nostalgic. And I said, I used to have like a craftsman work table that looked just like that. So I picked it up. And I didn't research it until I got outside. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. I love it. It's a McDonald's. It's so cool. It's old. And I got it. And it's worth, what, $380 more than what I paid for it. And not only that, 
Uh, not only that, excuse me one second, I picked up a bag of food for $5 that has everything in here. We'll go through this one day because I think it's hilarious. It's modern, it'll get me the oatmeal, uh, orange juice, rice cereal, buns, and Betty Crocker, hamburger helper, moist cakes, El Paso Spanish rice boxes. This massive bag of play food for $5, it probably weighs like 10 pounds, onions and donuts and ice cream and sandwiches from Dairy Queen, corn, $5. I'm gonna sell this with that McDonald's thing and I'm gonna easily get more money for this. And this is so cool. This is a kid's dream right here. To, to play with this food and the McDonald's drive through and just like, you know, even I was playing with this when I got home. I thought it was so cool. I put it, I put it, you know, it's just anyway. So that's going to be the gem of the video. I think we're going to go through some more of this stuff, but I wanted to get that out of the way because it's been staring me in the face this whole video. I thought it was awesome. It's, it's what, three and a half feet tall. It's 32 years old and it just like screams like nineties and eighties kid childhood where you went to McDonald's and got the coolest collector's glasses and Pokemon cards and just really neat, well-made toys and items from there. Um, so yeah, I love that. I hope everybody loves that thing. Maybe I'll do an in-depth review of it by itself. Um, it's got a little coin tray, the, 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 the trash slot. It's got the little pull-out stove with the little grill on it. It's just so cool. Um, all right, another couple items here. Um, I picked this up. This is a uh, made by an artist called Droguette. I got this for $3.99. I think it's a French artist and I got this for four bucks. This is a $60 picture. These are actively selling like every week for $60. So I got this for four bucks. Absolutely love it. I think it's reverse, reverse etching glass painting. Um, and then I also got this Elvis poster for a dollar. This is a 1998 at a glance. Um, this is a uh, Elvis Presley something. It's a, it's basically just a framed Elvis poster, which is scratched. And I mainly like to get these posters that are framed because I have a lot of posters and these poster frames are expensive. So what I'll do is I'll probably sell the Elvis poster and I'll probably keep this poster frame for my one of my own and then I'll clean it up and put it on my wall. But I got him for a dollar. I think they were asking three dollars for it and because I, because they yeah, three dollars they said it, I said it was scratched up and you couldn't really see it very well. They gave it to me for a buck. So that was an amazing item. So between those two items, I mean easy score there, 60, 70 bucks between the Elvis poster and that picture. Uh, what else we got? We're gonna go through some of this cool stuff. Just kind of randomly threw it up behind the behind the, my table here because there was no room. Um, I got this brand new. Does it still work? 1998 Hasbro Teletubby for three dollars in the box. 1998. Look at that. Still has the tape on it with the zip tie. Still has the tag on the hand. As soon as this got put on the shelf, I went over and I snatched this thing. This is creepy, but it's cool. It's brand new sealed. One of the most iconic things from the late 90s, this creepy TV show with the baby son and the weird guy with the dolls. Creepy, creepy, creepy. I don't remember if it's worth like 25 to 50 bucks. I don't remember, but it's brand new in the box and I know I'll sell it for more than $3. And the battery's still working it after what? Was it 23 years, 24 years old and the battery's still friggin' work. So um, what else we got? We got this for 75% off. This is a genuine porcelain doll. I don't remember where this is from. This is from Second Helpings from Kmart. This was a $12 doll that I got for 75% off. It's brand new in the box. The box has seen better days, but it's a porcelain doll. It's a, one of those heritage like uh, collector's dolls. I got this for $3 in the box. Um, so that'll be cool. It's got the kite on her wrist. It's got the tag still on her arm. So really pretty doll there. Um, somebody will easily buy that. That's from the early 90s, I think, uh, from Kmart. So that was cool. We got one of these. This is a cat's, a cat's doll. It looks new. It's a creepy robotic cat doll. Um, this is from 1990, oh, excuse me, 1997 from Trendmaster. It's got like an electronic brush, a cat food dish, and a mouse. Um, looks like somebody pulled the mouse out and the cat food dish, but they're in there. They're just behind the cat. But this is one of those creepy like girl pet cat things. It's got a speaker in here. And like when you pet her, when it eats food, it makes noises because it senses the sensors and the uh, other items. So I got this for $4 and I think these are going for like 40 to 50 bucks because it's still in the original box. Insane item. It's really cool. Um, four bucks. I picked that up the other day. There's a, uh, yeah. So I think you can eat and I think you could brush it and it goes to sleep. It's supposed to be like a real pet. Uh, it says just move my eyelids. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know what that means. You can make me happy, sad, surprised, and sleepy. So that's pretty neat. It says friends forever, always together. That's really cute. Friends forever, always together. All right. Anyways, um, that sounds like Savage Garden. Like 
Chicka Cherry Cola. Anyways, another item from that cool uh, thing where I got the Geo Safari and I got the McDonald's thing was this Nantucket uh, light ship. It looks like a schooner or some sort of uh, fishing vessel or something. This is a Lindbergh model. I had a Bismarck model like this. This was $10. I think it's only going for like 30 to 35 bucks, but I said, hey, I'll still make like 25 bucks on this. So it's a brand new in the box, still sealed, I think. Um, so really cool item there. Um, easy flip there, brand new items, especially ships and model kits. They sell really fast. What else we got? We got a uh, PS, don't know which one this goes to. This is a Kramer Striker wireless controller for Guitar Hero. Somebody's got stickers all over it, but it's a Kramer. Um, don't know if it's a PS3. It does not have the dongle or the sling. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. Just really excited. Uh, I'm sorry for seeing the back of my head half the video. Here's another one. This is actually an older one. This is a Guitar Hero World Industries PS2 controller. Has the back cover on it. Has a sling. Um, I don't know how to test these because there's no lights on it. Pretty cool guitar for a PS2. This is a very old puppy right here. It's probably like 2000 and what? 2004, 2005, something like that. Maybe even older. Really crazy, like first gen Guitar Hero guitar. Awesome. Um, those sell all day long for like 50 to 60 bucks um, on eBay without the dongle, which is incredible. Um, I got this for 75% off. This is a Hot Wheels Millennium Falcon playset. Um, I think it actually is brand new because it still has the tape on here to hold the things down. Um, and guess what? It actually works. It actually freaking, it actually freaking works. I love it. Absolutely love this thing. Um, it was actually $4. I got this for a buck. I think it's newer. Hot Wheels Star Wars. It actually says, yeah, and it says question mark. They didn't even know what it was from. I got this for a dollar. It was a 75% off discount off of $4. I got this for a buck. So that was pretty neat. I love Star Wars. I love Hot Wheels. I love the Money and Falcon. Really cool item there. Not worth very much, but just to have that, it's, just, it's pretty cool. A um, couple more items, and then we'll be done with the blabbing. I'm really sorry. Um, I just was feeling like doing a video. I got a haircut. I was feeling fresh, feeling happy. I uh, wanted to get some bigger items out of the way, and I wanted to share some of my really cool finds with everybody out there just to show you what I'm looking for, what stuff that I kind of pick up. It's anything and everything that just speaks to me or has value to it or it's really cool stuff. I mean, some of the stuff I might keep, you never know. I mean, I, I don't even know if I want to sell the McDonald's thing personally. It's just so neat. Um, anyway, so Care Bears have been a hot commodity. I've actually sold two recently. I sold a uh, Bedtime Bear and I sold a Harmony Bear one on um, online. And they're really popular. This is actually a bigger version of those. This is a licensed Care Bear. This is actually Grumpy Bear. Um, so this is a really cute item here. He was $2. I've been selling them for about 13 to 15 bucks a piece, but I have $2 into them. This one's bigger. This one's at least uh, about half a foot bigger than those two. So this will easily be a $20 to $25 bear. Um, but really cool. I might end up washing him um, or just kind of spot cleaning him. Uh, he is. He looks a little bit, uh, a little bit hairy, so I'll lean roll him and we'll see from there. But... Really cool item there. I just kind of threw it in because it's a bigger plush, and um, I just did a big plush haul, so I figured I'd throw him in. What else we got here? This is actually a cool find. An associate actually told me there was a Squishmallow or Squishmallow. Um, they had said they know that I pick up a lot of stuffed animals and everything. And they're like, yeah, um, there's, a, there's a limited edition Valentine's Love uh, Squishmallow over there. It's a flamingo. I looked it up. It's called his name's Cookie, or her name is Cookie. It's missing the butt tag, but it's still a Squishmallow. And it's a really cute and adorable. It's got the signature hearts on it. It says love. I think it's a Valentine's Day exclusive Squishmallow. Um, so I don't know how much it's worth, but I figured for $2, I'll pick it up. And who knows, maybe I'll sell it for 35 bucks or maybe less. But it's super soft um, and it's a limited edition. So, hey, somebody out there will love that, right? We got a pillow pet. This is a limited edition Easter pillow pet. It actually has the uh, Easter uh, polka dots on there. There's an Easter bunny. Um, it is a pillow pet. It says right there. Uh, I think it's from 2010. Yep. I just sold a dolphin, one of the dolphin pillow pets. I think it was in my my plush video. That two foot, 24 inch uh, dolphin pillow pet. I sold that for like 30 to $40. I paid $2 for it. It was insane. I didn't realize it was that rare or collectible. So pillow pets, especially because they're 10 or 11 years old and limited edition ones for holidays. Um, I mean, I didn't realize they were that popular. So Definitely, if you see any of these, pick these up. They're really cool. Make sure you do your research. Uh, some of them have names. Some of them are exclusives to holidays and stuff. So that was pretty neat and cute. I mean, it's probably an 18-inch one. The other one was two feet. So that'll be a pretty good score or a sale there. Uh, what else we got? I actually got this for cheap. This is a very, very rare uh, My Little Pony Bluetooth radio uh, speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker, but it's got an alarm clock and a radio in it. Uh, you can actually put batteries in it. 
or you can plug it in with a USB charger. Uh, you can put an auxiliary jack in there, but it is a 2014 My Little Pony thing. You can put your phone up here. It's got a phone stand on it. Um, this, they were asking $8 for this. I think I got this for $3.50. I told them, I said, I don't even know if it works. It doesn't have the plug. I said, I don't have any batteries to test it with me. I said, you don't consider this an electronic because there's no plug. They said, oh, you're right. We can't really, you know, because there's no plug on there. So he said, well, if it doesn't work, then, you know, we'll just give you a discount on the price. And I got this for like $3. It's a $40 freaking Bluetooth wireless speaker from My Little Pony. Really beautiful. This is fabric over the speakers. Uh, love that. It's really neat. Uh, My Little Pony is super hot right now. A couple more items. Speaking of My Little Pony, got another My Little Pony Build-A-Bear. This is um, Rarity. I'm sorry. I just blanked out. This is Rarity. Um, this is a $2 Build-A-Bear that I got. And I've been selling Build-A-Bears, uh, My Little Ponies, for about like 14 to 20 dollars a piece um because if you think about it when they come out you're paying 12 dollars for the the thing or like 30 dollars for the item and then you have to pay for voice boxes and all sorts of other nonsense so they're usually like 40 dollar figures so for somebody to pick this up for like 15 to 20 bucks is a huge steal excellent shape too make sure you watch out for them because sometimes they are stained and you can't fix them so really awesome Last item here is actually a Roadmaster 1950s or 1960s uh, tricycle. I used to have one of these as a kid. I loved it. Um, I love this thing. I don't know what year it's from, but it actually has the manufacturer's or sorry, the uh, retail store's sticker here. This is a $10 item. The wheels are straight. They are not broken. There's no caps missing. The pedals are in good shape. I think this was mid to late 60s or early 70s. And this is really cool. And I think these are going for about 60 to 70 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Um, I will clean this up and spot clean this. But I mean, I had this as a kid. I remember like, like I had a blue one, I think. And I used to stand on the back of it. I used to do wheelies on it. And I used to just like wreak havoc and make a mess. Uh, no pun intended with my uh, channel name. But that this was really neat for $10. So I figured I would share it. Um, I'm sure a lot of people had those out there. The handle grips are awesome. They're not cracked or nothing like that. You can tell it's age in the handlebars and the, the quality of plastic. Um, that was made a long time ago. So I really, really do enjoy doing these videos. And I really hope that everybody out there can see that, whoever watches this. Um, I like to hoard things, but I am a very proactive seller and um, gifter. So when I get these items, I will literally like sit here for a couple hours and take pictures and photos and uh, whatever I have to and edit pictures and write things down on a notepad and measure things. And I will sit here until entire all this pile of stuff is listed and I can put it over on the table back there and um, I get it out of the way, you know? So um, after I do these videos, I just get cracking on this stuff. And um, you know, whether it's a gift for somebody else, whether it's a, something to keep for myself, whether it's something to kind of hold on to as an investment thing, it doesn't matter what it is. I always make sure that um, I take good care of these items. I, I make sure I photograph them well. I make sure I am as very descriptive and honest as possible. Um, but I also make sure that I enjoy their presence because I am a caretaker and I am another owner of an item. So when I want somebody else to buy an item from me, or sorry, when I want somebody else to, when that, to own an item after me, I want to make sure that they're getting it in the same, if not better condition that I found it. So whether it means washing items or making sure the items work, testing them out, making sure they're clean, uh, making sure they're presentable. Um, and that's all part of what I do. Uh, it's taking care of the items, respecting them and respecting the people that you're giving them to because you don't want them thinking that you have germs or giving them dirty items or giving them defective broken products. And you want to make sure that you give them the best customer service possible. Um, and I'm fairly new at all this. I've been selling stuff my whole life. I've been selling and fixing things since I was very, very young, 10 years old, 11 years old. I've been buying and selling and flipping cars since I was 16. I've been fixing cars since I was 10 and I've just loved selling things. I've loved been fixing things and photographing things my whole life. So this is a really perfect uh, avenue for me to take and I really do enjoy it. And I also like doing these videos and I like talking to all of you and giving you my pointers and my own opinions and my advice. Uh, it's not set in stone, it's just from my own personal experience. Um, so thank you all for watching and sitting through this long video and this massive, enormous, just big item haul of different like, you know, consignment places, Goodwills, flea markets, you know, other consignment events, secondhand stores. Um, and I love all of this stuff. I really do. You know, and if anything falls over or breaks in the garage, I freak out, you know. So um, I really do try to take care of all my items and store it well. So thank you all again. Um, my name is Aaron. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that notification bell. I'm going to try and bring videos to you a couple days a week, maybe more. 
Um, I'd like to do them every day. I just don't want to keep buying that much stuff and not getting as much out. So I don't want to make the garage have so much stuff up to the ceiling. So again, thank you all. Please stay safe out there. Please stay good to one another. Please keep picking, keep reselling, keep just reliving your childhood. Find that inner, that, that nostalgia. Find that thing that, that drives you to buy an item that you used to have as a kid to relive some memories or some moments. Put it somewhere where you're going to look at it and be like, you know what? I love who I am. I love where I came from. And I'm going to cherish my who I really am uh, because the person you are is the person that you are when nobody's looking. So, you know, if there's a manly man out there that used to grow up watching My Little Pony with his little sister and he buys a My Little Pony item, nobody else has to know. But if you have a connection with that item, don't let anybody judge you. Don't let anybody shame you for it. Um, I love anything and everything that matters to me. I will hope it matters to somebody else. And I like to push that message along in my packaging, in my cleanliness of the items, in my descriptions. And I just want to share that with everybody out there. Just be friendly and be respectful of one another. Please also remember that people are people like us and we all are all the same. We are all the same race. We are all the same color on the inside. We are all the same. We we are all different, but we are all the same. And don't ever let anybody tell you different if you're too old to be a kid or you need to grow up or you need to be mature. Don't let it hurt you because honestly, I am proud to be a huge freaking kid. And I love where I came from. I love my family. I love my parents. I love my childhood. And this is why I do what I do because I want to give that piece of myself to whoever else is out there um, that gets to relive in, in uh, their childhood currently or as a baby or as a teenager or as an adult or as an older person. It doesn't matter because you're never too old to not grow up. And I will keep saying that. And thank you all again. This is the end of the video. <laughs> uh, keep talking. There goes Rarity. Peace out. Please stay good to one another. Please have respect for everybody out there. If they disrespect you, at least have the kindness and respect and maturity to not disrespect them back. You know, um, just, just be your own kind of person and don't let anybody tell you who you are. Find out who you are and remember where you came from. Thank you all again. Goodbye.